so hey everyone in this session we are going to see uh, the remaining method for error control which is crc and checksum crc means cyclic redundancy check let's see what is crc and how it's done so in the crc method it uses generator polynomial which is available at both sender and receiver side so generator polynomial it is also called key so the value of the key is already known by sender and receiver now the size of the data which is to be sent is represented by small n and uh, the size of the key or size of the generator polynomial it is represented by small k now let's see what are the steps that are being followed at the sender side so in the first step the data which is to be sent is appended by k minus 1 zeros in the end of the data so for example the size of the data is 7 bit and the size of the key is 4 bit so we will add k minus 1 zero means 3 zeros to the original data so together it becomes 10 bits right in the second step we will perform modulo to binary division to divide the binary data and to perform modulo to binary division we will use the key which is also called generator polynomial after performing modulo to binary division we will check the remainder now that remainder will be added to the end of the data so we will append the remainder to the end of the original data which was n bit and then after together that data and remainder will be sent to the receiver now the receiver will receive data and receiver after receiving the data it will also perform the modulo to binary division and uh, it has the key already uh, which is also called binary polynomial right so after performing modulo to binary division using the same key we will check the value of remainder and if value of remainder is zero it means that there is no error the data is received successfully but if the value of the remainder is non zero it means that the received data has error and uh, that data will be dropped we will not use that data so now as you can see in this figure the data that we want to send is this okay and uh, as we have just discussed the steps that are followed at the sender side in the first step we will add some zeros to the original data and now you know that how many zeros we will add right we will add k minus 1 zeros to the original data after adding k minus 1 zeros we will perform the modulo to binary division after performing modulo to binary division we will get the remainder which is also called crc okay now that crc will be appended to the original data so we will get something like this this is our original data and we will append the remainder 
or CRC to the original data. And after appending, we will send together the data and CRC to the receiver. Now we will send and the receiver will receive that data. Now the receiver will also perform modular to binary division at that site. So it will perform the modular to binary division and it has already divisor, right? Because the value of the key is already present at both sender and receiver side. So receiver has the same key as the sender. So it will perform binary division using that key. And after performing the binary modulo to binary division, the receiver will check the reminder. If the reminder is zero, it means that the data that it has received has no error and it will keep that data. But if the value is non-zero, if the value of the reminder is non-zero, it means that the receiver is not keeping that data, it will reject that data. Because if the reminder is non-zero, it means that the received data has a, some error, right? So now let's perform the CRC method. So in this example, the data to be sent is five bits. And uh, the value of the key or the CRC divisor is 1101, which is four bits. So in this example, the N, which is size of data is five bits and uh, k which is size of key and uh, that is four bits okay now as you know in the crc method before performing the crc method first of all we will add some zeros to our original data so this is our original data and uh, we will add some zeros in the end of the original data and number of zeros which is to be added it depends on size of key so if size of key is k so we will add k minus one zeros to the original data so in this example the size of key is four so we'll add three zeros to the original data okay so now this is the data on which we will perform modulo 2 binary division so let's perform 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 and 0 and uh, the value of the key is 1 1 0 1 okay now multiply this number with one. So we will get one, one, zero, one. Now in the modulo to binary division, we will perform XOR to each digits. So XOR of one and one, we will get zero, then zero and one, one, zero and zero. And this zero will be dropped to here. After performing this, we will check the lower four bits. In lower four bits, we will check the value of MSB. So in this lower four bit, the value of the MSB is one. So we will multiply this number. We will multiply this key with one. So we will get one, one, zero, one. Then after we will perform XOR, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, and 1, and this 0 will be here. After performing XOR, we will check the lower 4 bits. In the lower 4 bits, in the lower 4 bits, the value 
if the value of MSB is 1, then we will multiply this number with 1. So we will get 1, 1, 0, 1. So after performing, uh, then after we will perform XOR. So 1, 1, 1, and 0. Then after this 0 will be here. Again, after performing XOR, we will check the lower four bits. In the lower four bits, the value of the MSP is 1. So we will multiply this number with 1. So 1, 1, 0, 1. So 1, 1, 0, 0. And this 0 will be dropped to here. Now, after performing XOR, we will check the lower four bits. In lower four bits, if the value of MSP is zero, then we will multiply this number with zero. So multiplying this number with zero, we will get zero, 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 zero. So zero, one, one, zero. Okay. So you may be wondering that uh, why we are checking only lower four bits so this depends on size of key if size of key is five bits then every time we will be checking lower five bits and in lower five bits if the value of msb is one then we will multiply the key with one and if value of msb is zero then we will multiply this key with zero Okay, now this key will be appended to the original data. So our original data is one zero zero one zero, and the key that we are getting is one one zero. Okay, sorry, the reminder that we are getting is one one zero, and it will be appended to the original data. And so that data will be sent to the receiver. Now, as receiver receives this data, zero one one zero, it will perform again. It will perform modular two binary division. So one one zero one. Okay. Now, after performing the modular to binary division, we will check the value of remainder. Now, let's perform the modular to binary division. We will multiply this number, we will multiply this key with 1. So, it will become 1, 1, 0, 1. So, after multiplying, we will perform XORing, right? So, XORing of 1 and 1, 0, 1, 0, and 0, this 0 will be here. Then after we will check after performing XOR, we will check the lower four bits. In the lower four bits, if the value of MSP is one, then we will multiply this key with one. So one, one, zero, one. Then after we'll perform the XOR, that is zero, one, zero, one. And this one will be here. After performing XOR, we will check the lower four bits. The lower four bits, if MSP is one, then you know what to do. We will multiply this number with one. So one, one, zero, one, zero, one, one, zero, and this one will be here. After performing XOR, we will check the lower four bits. In the lower four bits, if MSP is one, then we will multiply this number with one. So one one zero one. So it becomes zero 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 and this zero will be here. After performing XOR, we will check the lower four bits. In the lower four bit, if MSP is zero, then we will multiply this number with zero. So zero 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 zero. We will get zero. Okay. So at the receiver side. After performing the modular to binary division, if we are getting zero in the remainder, it means that there is no error.
the data we have received as null. Okay. Now let's see another example that the data which is to be sent is this and the value of the key is this and we have performed the modulo 2 binary division now before performing we will add some zeros so as you can see that this is our original data and we have added three zeros why we have added three zeros because the value of the key is 1101 which is four bits and we will add four minus one means three zero to the original data and after adding original uh, data with uh, zeros we will perform the modulo to binary division and uh, after performing we are getting the reminder that reminder will be added to the original data and it will be sent to the receiver now the receiver will perform the modulo to binary division to the data it has received it has already value of the key after performing if the receiver is getting non-zero value it means that there is error so it will drop the data so uh, this is it for crc method now the remaining checksum method will be covered in the another video if you have any doubts then uh, you can text me or uh, you can do comment in the comment section okay thank you